So we are interested in uh, the environment in which a cancer cell lives. So in order to start growing and initiate a tumor and progress into a deadly disease, a cancer cell needs support from its uh, environment. So we're interested in how cancer cells communicate with the environment surrounding it. And the best example of this is perhaps blood vessel development. Uh, so as any organ in the body, a tumor needs uh, oxygen and nutrients to grow. So it needs to be able to stimulate blood vessels to grow into the tumor mass to deliver oxygen and nutrients. And this is a process that we are interested in studying in order to learn how to block blood vessel development in tumors and also then uh, develop drugs that can uh, stop tumors from growing by blocking blood vessel development. And the cancer types that we are mostly interested in is uh, breast cancer and neuroendocrine tumors of the pancreas. So hopefully in April we will move in 250 cancer researchers into these facilities at Medical Village. Um, this is a, a mix of uh, basic scientists like ourselves uh, together with uh, um, researchers uh, doing genomic research and, and also uh, more clinically oriented uh, scientists and oncologists. Uh, so this will be a great platform for doing translational studies where we really can move uh, between the basic scientist and the clinic to help the patient in the best uh, possible way. So this will be our new lab fa facilities and these labs are now vacated but will be filled with uh, lots of machines and equipment, uh, confocal microscopes, fluorescence microscopes, PCR machines and, and qPCR machines for example. I was very um, interested in the idea of this new cancer center here at Medicon Village uh, which will enable us to interact with a wide uh, diversity of uh, cancer researchers from different fields and, and benefit from their knowledge and, and really integrate all of this knowledge into common projects and, and collaborations. So I think that was what brought me here to Lund University, uh, this uh, uh, possibilities. We were of course very happy to, to receive this ERC starting grant in, in fierce competition and it means that we, with this five-year uh, grant, which is quite substantial, will be able to focus on um, long-term high-risk projects uh, with this stable funding uh, that can support this type of research. We look forward to putting this money to good use uh, in order to benefit patients in, in the long run uh, with our work.